A dead zone is a, uh, an area of the ocean, even their open ocean or coastal area, where the level of oxygen in the water has gotten lowered to the point where fish and crabs will swim away. So the common name dead zone refers to the fact that there are no fish or crabs or shrimp to catch. Dead zones are caused by a number of factors. Um, at, a, at a very simple level, they're biological factors and physical factors that have to both come together at the same time. The most common combination is a uh, discharge from a sewage plant or municipality uh, combined with some runoff from urban areas or agricultural areas and the organic matter and nutrients that are in these discharges and runoff get into the sea and cause blooms of algae that grow and when the algae dies and settles to the bottom of the sea there are bacteria there that decompose the algae and consume oxygen as they go and this is how the oxygen is drawn down. The size of the dead zones range from just a, a kilometer or two squared up to close to 100,000 kilometers squared. Uh, the biggest dead zone uh, that we have on Earth is in the Baltic Sea, and it's related to the uh, activities of the Baltic nations and also um, uh, the fact that the, uh, the Baltic Sea is an enclosed sea and doesn't circulate well. So that's the largest persistent dead zone, and it's, it's varies in size from year to year, but is very large. Um, then the next largest ones go down into the 20, 30,000 square kilometer range. And we'll find one of those in the northern Gulf of Mexico, one off the Yangtze River in China. So they're, they're some of the largest. A second problem that we have with oxygen in the oceans are the oxygen minimum zones. Now these are naturally occurring low oxygen areas in uh, all the oceans, mostly in the Pacific and Indian oceans. And they're caused by natural processes. Uh, what we find in the last 20, 30 years is that uh, climate change and global warming is causing these zones to expand. <clears throat> now they're in deep water, anywhere from 100 to 400 meters down, and what we're seeing is that the upper level of these oxygen minimum zones are, are creeping up towards the surface, and this is causing problems for pelagic fish, billfish like marlin and sailfish, where their habitat is compressed um, as the oxygen moves closer to the surface. So this creates a, uh, a serious problem for open ocean fisheries. Hypoxia or low oxygen, which is popularly called um, uh, when it's in the environment a dead zone, but if we look at it relative to us as humans, um, hypoxia, if we just hold our breath within 15, 30 seconds, we become hypoxic. And after a minute or two, uh, you can't hold your breath, you have to breathe. Uh, it would be like if, if we all as a population were sitting here at sea level and then within a minute we were up at the top of Mount Everest. Uh, we couldn't, there's not enough oxygen in the air for us to survive and we would die. So that's what uh, environmental hypoxia is. It's just the lowering of oxygen to the point where animals can't survive. There are three things that we could do as a population to reduce the problems that we have with uh, dead zones and low oxygen. One would be to increase the efficiency of our agricultural system and, and develop plants that do not require as much fertilizer as we are currently using. So that would be a very big uh, change and improvement. Second would be to, to only farm the best lands and to take the marginal lands that are close to the sea causing runoff problems and, and direct injection of nutrients and uh, fertilizer into the seas 
take them out of production and make them buffers. And a third thing that we could do to improve the problem we have with dead zones would be to shift our diet as a population away from one with so much meat to one with more vegetables. Because a lot of the agricultural production that we have goes to uh, feeding animals. And if we cut that step out, we would cut out a lot of agricultural use of fertilizers by reducing the, uh, the total need. And this would be a great benefit to reducing the number of dead zones if we all became vegetarians.